today I'm flying Ethiopia Airlines to Zanzibar in Tanzania and I'll be laying over in Addis Ababa so come with me I'll be taking you on this trip with me right now I'm currently waiting to pick up my package because uh, I got a suit my very first suit you know I want to take pictures with it in Zanzibar so the delivery guy is here I'm just waiting for him outside terminal one this is terminal one and this is the new terminal two behind me time now is uh 11 36 and our flight is for 1 40 so we are very early Ethiopia. This is literally the only airport I know where your bags are manually searched after the machines have scanned them. I will go for tourism. I will be YouTuber. I will make videos. I will post. I will share. Yet I have been on since. You don't need it. See how I am sweating. The airport is hot. I'm excited. I'm sweating, but I'm pleasantly relieved. Yeah. 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 Exhausted. Zanzibar way. <laughs> Mazi, this is yours. Yes. All this, all this plenty luggage. I only have one bag. This is my bag. Only one bag. But you're in custody of the other bag. for madam. <laughs> only we get one bag. That's a starboard. Don't show that one. Don't show that one. The check-in process was stressful and very chaotic as there were very many people trying to check in all at the same time. So we decided to make some fun for ourselves before Alma got tired of our shenanigans and decided to seize our game. Drinking it, she's just a hater. We want to finish our water. I don't want to fly here anymore. After filling the immigration form, we finished with check in and proceeded to immigration, which was actually a breeze. There was no stress or unnecessary drama whatsoever. We were done with immigration in no time and proceeded to the boarding gates. People don't have a gig bread. How much is it? How much is this? Hey! Airport, you. Airport, airport price. See, this thing for 3000 at the airport. How much is this yearly bread? See you. No. So, we're going to check in Zanzibar, um, Ethiopia Airlines, ET900. I have my water snacks. I've, see, this is the most stressful flight that I've ever gone on. I am already tired from here. Do you have something to say? No, not really. What not is your really. experience what like for this? Uh, ah, but it's very stressful. Is this the first time in this airport? Yes, exactly. Electric energy will power that. I got into an argument at the boarding gate, firstly because of a clip I had recorded of passengers sitting at the gates in the heat, and secondly because they wouldn't let us board the plane with snacks that we bought after security, which is supposed to be duty free and we can fly with. When, when she came and she spoke, I tweeted you. So if you can take my work series, forget about it. The cabin has adequate storage space for my bags and enough legroom for me. If you are taller than me, you can opt for an emergency seat or book the business class if you have the money. While safety instructions came up on screen, the crew prepared for takeoff and we were airborne by 2.40 pm. This is an Airbus A350-900 and this aircraft has Wi-Fi. You might need to purchase it from the counter before checking in because I was unable to get the Wi-Fi on board until we got to Ethiopia. The seats are comfortable and can recline for your convenience. There's a motion sickness bag if you need to throw up. A magazine here with stories and facts about Ethiopia, but some of its pages are in pieces. I want to believe a baby did that. In this book, I learned that the first black African to win an Olympic gold medal in 1960 was Ethiopian and he won it barefoot. Africans are really amazing. Another cool fact about this flight is that our pilot is a Yoruba man. Yes, he is Nigerian. Estimated travel time is 5 hours 20 minutes. 
So there's entertainment here. You can watch some movies or get to learn about Ethiopia and her achievements while you are at it. The food service came timely and I had rice and chicken with water and a bottle of wine. I also took time to try Ethiopian coffee and it was very very bitter. I had to ask for sugar and I poured everything in it but it was still bitter. The food was not nice. Eh? <laughs> the food was not nice. The food not nice. <laughs> Did you chicken? <laughs> was it chicken or fish? Beef. The chicken you was nice. Chicken. The chicken was fish. Yeah, I wanted chicken. But they gave me beef. <laughs> Never leave a brother behind. Never. <laughs> nice things, nice things. Hey, George. What's up with this? I don't know. Nabia. Nabia is a last Oh gosh, it's tiring already, bro. I don't know that if I pass by this time. I'm getting sick. Bye bye, yeah. We started descending and finally landed into Addis Ababa and it was a very very smooth landing into Bole International Airport Addis Ababa. They give you this blanket for the cold but I didn't use mine because I didn't get cold during this flight and despite reading this important information, I still forgot something very very important on the plane and didn't realize until I was out of the airport. I'm Mexican Nado. <laughs> ah, this place is always cold. Ah, See this engine? If you enter this engine, you go grind. It's, it's, it pass you. If you enter inside, now Rose Royce, now Rose Royce engine. Rose Royce. Very cool. Oh, what's really going on? First half of the trip. Touchdown. First time in Addis Ababa. First time, kid. <laughs> Boy, it's your first time now. Yes. In Addis. So, yeah. My suit's on the plane. So now I have to go back to the plane to get it. And I stayed so long on that plane before coming down. How did I forget it? Oh. Damn. Anyways, on my way to get it back. I got my suit. So they actually, the bus took me back and the hostesses let me get back on board to get my stuff. And they were really nice. We laughed all the way to this place. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. All right. Are you coming to Zanzibar? We have a whole beach house. You can come. I have. Come. <laughs> so. Are you sir? Yes, so I'm going. I'm going inside now. Good night. Thank you. It was past 10 p.m. by the time I got back into the airport. I went through immigration pretty quickly. Ethiopian Airlines had buses waiting outside the airport to drive us to our hotel for the night. My friends and I are staying at the Ethiopian Skylight Hotel. It's a five-star hotel in Addis Ababa, and the best part is we don't have to pay a dollar for it because it's free. Having a layover here in Addis Ababa and um, I mean Skylight Hotel, like this hotel is very nice. You know, they actually changed my hotel. So in Lagos, I was given Skylight, but when I got here in Addis, they changed it to Ad, I can't remember, Ad, Ad Doniba or something like that. So um, <clears throat> we had to like go back and forth because I wanted to stay in the same hotel with my friends. So um, we ended up getting Skylight Hotel, and I tell you, this hotel is really, really sharp. Like stitched up. I just got back from dinner, so um, my flight to Zanzibar in Tanzania leaves tomorrow morning at six seven a.m. I don't know, but um, but the room is actually very nice. Now I have a bed I'm not going to use. I want to edit some videos tonight, so I might stay up for a few three four hours before sleeping for like one hour. I probably just rest a lot first night in Zanzibar. But yeah, in the last few days I've been everywhere. I had to leave Abuja. I spent 24 hours in Kaduna. Then I got back to Abuja to board a flight for Lagos that same night. Then after getting to Lagos, I had just one day to pack and reduce. I mean, I made a video of that day 
like I did a lot of things. I'll just give you guys a quick room tour and then I'll go back to editing. I, re I just really want to show you guys this hotel, but I don't know where I'm going to slot this video into. In my next video, I'll be sharing my layover experience in Addis Ababa and my flight to Zanzibar. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Keep spreading positivity and I'll see you on the next one.